Okay, so here we're going to learn how to write balanced combination reactions. Um, the examples in your chapter handout on page three are in um, just basic word format. I'm going to convert the words to chemical formulas, but your worksheet is slightly different, and I'll explain that in a second. So for example one, write a balanced chemical equation for zinc metal heated with oxygen gas to yield a solid product. Okay, so zinc metal is Zn. So we're going to write Zn with a little s after it. It's heated with oxygen gas. Oxygen is highlighted on the periodic table. That means you have to include a subscript 2 after it because it's diatomic. When things are heated, you put a triangle above the arrow and you're yielding a solid product. You have to predict what the chemical formula of the solid product is and this is extremely easy if you just listen to me. Write out in words what you have on the reactant side. I have zinc and oxygen. If I bring zinc and oxygen together in a compound, what would it be called? Zinc oxide. That is the chemical formula you need to write on the product side. So what you're going to do is cross charges. On the periodic table, zinc has a plus 2 charge, oxygen has a negative 2 charge. When the numbers in the charges are the same, they cancel, you get ZnO. This is solid, so you have this. And we're not balanced, so I have to keep going. But before I go, I need to tell you something. Most students will look at the formulas for the reactants to predict the formula of the product, and they will mistakenly write ZnO2, which doesn't exist. So since this is the most common mistake that students make, don't do it and make yourself a note to not do it. Never look at the formulas for the reactants to predict the formulas for the products. Use the name trick. Okay? Now, this isn't balanced. There are two oxygen here, so you need to put a 2 here in front of ZnO. So you're going to put a 2 there. The 2 gets distributed to the Zn and the O, which means you have to put a 2 in front of Zn as well. And there's a 1 in front of O2, and now you're done. You just predicted the product of a combination reaction. Let's take a look at example number 2. Write a balanced chemical equation for aluminum metal, which is Al, and when it's a metal, we put a little s after it because it's a solid, heated with sulfur, so I'm going to write s, and I'm going to put a triangle above the arrow to give a solid product. You're not going to look at the formulas that are on the reactant side to predict the formula of the product because the product would not be ALS. You're going to write aluminum and sulfur. Then you're going to think, okay, if I bring together aluminum and sulfur, what is the name of the product? Aluminum sulfide. Now what you're going to do is cross the charges. Aluminum has a plus 3 charge. Sulfur has a negative 2 charge. When you cross those charges, you get Al2S3, and this is a solid product, so you put a little s after it. Now, we're not balanced. I need to put a 2 in front of aluminum and a 3 in front of sulfur, and then we're done. And I have a 1 in front of Al2S3, and it looks like this. Okay? All right, now, the combination reactions worksheet looks like this. I've given you the formulas for the reactants, except for in number six, and you have to predict what the formulas of the products are. So use the trick that I gave you, write out in words underneath what you have, and then write the word or the chemical name of the product, and then convert it to a chemical formula and balance it. You may think this takes so long and you're not going to mess up, but trust me, even the best students mess this up. Now, when you get down to number six, You've got a product called NH3. You have to predict what two elements 
had to combine to form NH3. There could only be two possible elements, okay? All right, so do that, and then you can go on to the next lesson.